few more examples. These are more word problems. So the first one here is a ladder rests against a wall. Now you've got to be really good at drawing diagrams, so you've got to think really clearly about these and more practice with word problems will make you better with this. Okay, so a ladder rests against a wall like that. You've seen a lot of ladders leaning against a wall. So this is our ladder. Okay, and there's our wall. So if it helps you, you can write that somewhere so you can visualise what's going on here. Now, the foot of the ladder. The foot means the bottom. Okay, so what's at the bottom of you? Your foot. Alright, so the bottom of the ladder or the foot of the ladder is here. That's the foot right there. Now that is 355 centimetres from the wall. So here's your wall, here's the bottom or the foot of the ladder. That's how far it is from the wall. So we're putting the 355 centimetres there. Then it says that the foot of the ladder is from the wall and makes an angle of 63 degrees with the ground. So the ladder and the ground have 63 degrees between them. Okay, so the 63 degrees will go in here. Alright, now the question is, how long is the ladder? Well, here's the ladder. So we're looking for how long that is, so we're looking for X right there. Okay, so let's just label what we've got. This side that we know is the adjacent side to the angle. So we'll just get our red pen and write an A there. And then the side we're looking for is this one, and that's the hypotenuse. So we're using A and H, that means we're using cos. Write your formula down first. Cos theta equals A over H. Now let's put in all our numbers. Cos of what angle? 63 degrees equals 355 over X. Now remember what we do with the letters on the bottom? We swap with what's over here. So if we do that swap, the X will now be over here. 355 hasn't moved, it's still on the top. And on the bottom, we have cos 63 degrees. All right, now if you put that in your calculator, press your fraction key, remember, you're going to get that answer there. We're going to the nearest centimetre. Now, this answer is in centimetres. So if we go to the nearest centimetre, it's the nearest whole number of centimetres. So we're going to draw our line after the whole number. That next digit is a 5 or more. So this is going to go up by 1 and become a 2. Keep everything and write your centimetres on your end of your answer. Alright, number 6. We're looking at a plane. It's flying at an altitude of 1.5 kilometres. That means that directly from the ground to where the plane is at that point in time, straight down is your altitude. It's like a perpendicular height. Okay, to land, it descends, that means comes down, it's coming down to the runway, at an angle of 18 degrees to the horizontal. Okay, so let's look at what's going on here. We'll draw up our right angle triangle. Here's your plane, right here. You can draw one if you like, but I'm not a good drawer. So that's the plane right there. The altitude is directly down here, so that's 1.5 kilometres. The plane is turning downwards, turns the nose of the plane down to try and land, and it says that the angle is 18 degrees to the horizontal. So what that means is the plane's going to duck, duck its nose downwards. It's, originally it's flying like this along here. It just tilts like that so it's ready to come in for a landing. So I want you to get your red pen and draw a dotted line out there. All right, that is a horizontal line. This is the angle of 18 degrees out here. Okay, that's what you have to turn the nose of the plane down on that angle. So the plane is now flying at 18 degrees to the horizontal. Now, when you have that angle, it's not much use to you if it's not inside the triangle. So you do need to find an angle in here. Pick one, it doesn't matter. The easiest one to do will be this one, because these two angles are alternate angles. Right? These lines here are parallel, so we're forming a Z shape. So these two are alternate.
alternate angles. So this is also going to be 18 degrees because alternate angles are equal in parallel lines. So just write that down because this gets used a lot. Now, some of you might go, well, I think I'll do the other angle. Now, that angle there, this actually forms a right angle because that's horizontal and that's vertical. So you could find that one by doing 90 take away 18 to get 72 degrees there. But I don't advise it because you're going to have to do a little bit of working. This is just the same. You just write down 18 degrees. Okay, so let's sub in. We are finding how far must the plane travel before landing. So what's the plane actually doing? It's doing this. Okay, so we're looking for that. All right, so now we're subbing in. Sine of 18 degrees equals opposite. What's an opposite side over hypotenuse? Right, so we're doing opposite and hypotenuse sine. Sine theta equals L over H. Put the numbers in. Sine 18 degrees equals 1.5 over X. And now you've got that situation again with the letter on the bottom. So we're going to swap spots, swap positions. X is now here. And sine 18 degrees is now down here. Okay, so you put that in your fraction key on your calculator and you'll get that answer. They want the answer correct to the nearest 0.1 of a kilometre. Well, we were dealing with kilometres, so this answer is in kilometres. When they say they want the nearest 0.1 of a kilometre, they basically are telling you that they want the answer to stop there, right? Because 0 0.1 has one decimal place. That's what we want. So let's look at the next digit. It's five or more, so we're going up by one. We go eight, that will become a nine. Keep everything else, and that's your answer. All right, let's look at the next question. A boat is anchored by a rope 5.6 metres long. If the anchor rope makes an angle of 23 degrees with the vertical, let's have a look at what diagram we're going to have. Now, the biggest mistake people make on a question like this is they think that this is what the anchor rope is. It's not, okay? I've never seen a boat sitting directly above its anchor. Because what happens is once the anchor sits in the sand and it's not moving anywhere, the boat still moves because the boat will just move with the tide, okay? So it's not going to just sit directly above where the anchor is. So it will move, all right? So the anchor is actually here. That's where the anchor is sitting in the sand. It, your boat was originally above it, but it drifted with the tide. So here's your boat sitting above the surface of the water. And that's the anchor down at the bottom of the sea. All right, so the rope joining the boat to the anchor is 5.6 metres long. So we can write that in. And they've told you the anchor rope, this thing, is at an angle of 23 degrees with the vertical. Well, there's the vertical, there's the anchor rope. So there's the anchor rope and the vertical, that's the angle we're looking at. That's your 23 degrees. So it's really important that you read these questions carefully. Okay, now we're calculating the depth of the water. Well, here's the bottom of the sea, the bottom of the river. We're looking for the depth, that's this bit here. We can put our X there, and now we label our sides. This one that we know is the hypotenuse. This one that we're looking for, it's adjacent to that angle. So we're doing cos. Cos theta equals A over H. Cos 23 degrees equals X over 5.6. And for this one, we're getting rid of our divided by 5.6 so that the X can be on its own. So come over here and do the opposite, and we're timesing by 5.6. Put it on in your calculator and you'll get that answer. And this time we're going to two decimal places. One, two, draw your line. The next digit is less than five, so this will stay as it is. Keep everything in front of it. 
and put your units on the end, which is in metres. That's 5.15 metres. And the last question we're doing here, we're going to be drawing a diagram first. Okay, so it says triangle ABC is right angled at B. So I've started the diagram here. It's right angled triangle and it's right angled at B. So you can put the B there. Now we know it's triangle ABC. So the other two letters will be A and C. It doesn't matter where you put them. Put them wherever you like. All right, A, C. All right, now, AC is 14.8. So joining A to C is 14.8 metres. And angle C is 56 degrees. Okay, angle C is 56 degrees. Now, we're finding the length of side AB down here. So we'll put an X on that side. Now let's label what we've got. We have a hypotenuse with numbers. We're looking for the opposite side to that. So we're using sine because we have O and H. So start with your formula. Sine theta equals O over H. Put your numbers in. And it goes in after the sine, remember. So sine 56 degrees equals X over 14.8. Now we're getting the x by itself, get rid of the divided by 14.8, come over here and times by 14.8. Your calculator will give you that. And we're now going to one decimal place. Do a line after one decimal place. Look at the next digit, that's five or more. This will go up by one to number three. Everything else in front stays. And we're in metres. Okay, so all the practice in the homework will help you. Make sure that you draw a good diagram. Make sure you then write down whether it's the sine, cos or tan formula first. Sub your numbers in and keep going. No rounding of any answers until the final one. Good luck with your homework.